I've had a bunch of questions asking how to tell if your Corvette is numbers matching. And today I'm going to show you on this parts car that is numbers matching. What you're looking for is on the passenger side engine block, right in front of the, where the head meets the block, there's a stamp pad, okay? I believe for 77 uh, and down, so 68 to 77, the pad looks like this. And then 78 and up, it's a smaller, more of a, a rectangle shape. But you see this number here? So this number right here tells you a little bit of information about the engine, where it was built, that kind of stuff. But this is the money number right here. You see how it says 16S419503? That is partial. It's called the VIN derivative, and that is a partial VIN stamp for this car. If you come over here, it says on the VIN, 6S419503. The VIN number on the A pillar will match, at least partially, these numbers right here. So the 419503, which are the basically just the serial numbers on the VIN match. Now there's no other way your engine can be numbers matching. You can have date uh, correct heads, date correct intake carb, all that kind of other stuff if you want to get down into that. But if you don't have this number, you're not numbers matching. A lot of times what will happen is the engine will get rebuilt, it will get what they call decked, and the numbers will get ground off. So there it is, a quick tip uh, to see if your engine is numbers matching to your Corvette. And I don't want to hear any comments about how I'm parting out a numbers matching car. This car has been wrecked, it has bends in the frame, it has body mounts and the rear kickups are rusty on this car, and it's just trash. So it's okay to part this one out.